While Vermont continues to rebuild and rethink infrastructure after July's severe flooding, a boost to better existing infrastructure projects is coming the state's way. No matter what you do or where you are in Vermont, uh, you intersect with local agriculture and local food. Spanning child care centers, wastewater infrastructure, and agricultural buildings, the $10.8 million in Northern Border Regional Commission grants will go towards helping the state continue to upgrade. Governor Phil Scott said in a statement last Friday that the funds will make a significant difference in Vermont communities across the state. While Senator Bernie Sanders added the funds will improve the lives of Vermonters in real, effective, and deeply needed ways. One of those projects the funding will aid is the reconstruction of the historic Yellow Barn in Hardwick and a new 25,000 square foot food business building in part run by the Center for Agricultural Economy, which processes and distributes food to producers. We will use roughly half of that space and we will increase our storage, aggregation, and distribution services for farm and food producers. John Ramsey, the executive director of the center, says the project planning, which has resulted in a $1.7 million cost has lasted five years. And Ramsey said the project needed every single penny of that funding. The Northern Borders piece was really critical to um, completing our fundraising goal for this project. And while many eyes are focused on the historic Yellow Barn, a future retail outlet for Cabot Creamery, Ramsey said he's excited to support Vermont's economic backbone even more in the years to come. Uh, blessed to have so many different farm and food producers producing such like high quality food for our state uh, and also making it available to all members of our community through so many different channels. And he says the hope is that over a hundred farm and food businesses will benefit from the new space.